Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Roblox Gamer Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to render your character so you can make like ads and logos. I actually just finished off making two new ads that I will be showing you guys, and I really would like to just invite you guys to join my new group. It is actually a modeling group. So, yeah, if you want to join, go ahead. But these are the ads you should be looking out for. This one is just, is like my newest one. Sorry about the hair. It's, like, kind of weird. But I'm not really quite sure what happened there. Like, I kept trying to fix that, but it didn't work. And there's also this one, which was my very first one. But it's kind of not that good. It's really weird. But, yeah, look out for these two models. And the group name is D apostrophe Alley, D Alley, pretty much. So yeah, look for those. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up a Roblox player. And then you want to go to your character and you want to kind of find an outfit that you like, I will do, I guess. This one, I'll go ahead and do, wait, maybe this one. I'll do this one. Depends. Okay, anyway, find something that you like, or find a regular, a random character, and press profile. You want it to be on your profile, or someone else's profile. Also, do you have, like, my new bio? Denali. 2014-2016 clothing designer, 2015-2016 key effects designer, and the owner of Denali and the owner of Memphis Design. I do take clothing logo and ad requests, just so you guys know, so definitely ask me questions or anything. And basically, I will add a link in the description below, but you need to have the Roblox Quick Asset Downloader. You will not be able to put this character into your modeling into Roblox Studio without the Roblox Quick Asset Downloader. And this, we will also be using Blender. So, this is Blender. Oh, don't look at that. Like, ew. Look, don't look at that. Okay. And we'll be using Blender. So, once you have the Quick Asset Downloader downloaded, you want to go ahead and go into Roblox Studio. From your profile and just let that load for a few seconds so as you can see you've got all these tools up here and then more of these tools right here and then you have your character right here look at that oh my gosh so beautiful all right so what you want to do is you want to go up to here to workspace and you want to click that arrow and then you want to click this arrow for player and then your ID number. So as you can see you've got like all this stuff right here. So uh, I'm going so you can kind of like if you want to click here click on any of the items and it'll hover it and you can kind of like rotate it however you want you know it's like up to you. Oh that was weird. Okay. I'm gonna try to fix this. Cause I just like messed it up again. Okay. There we go. All better. Okay. So you can kind of design it any way that you want, really. I mean, it's up to you because, well, it's your character. But yeah, if you have like good ideas, you can just kind of go with it, man. Like, it really doesn't matter. Kind of just like. <laughs> okay, and then. I don't know what that might be. Alright, I'll go to the right arm. Right arm, okay. Um. We want to go this way
Maybe we should go up that way. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> okay, we'll go. It's like she's covering her mouth. Except that looks really weird. That looks even more weird. Well, anyway, okay. Um. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, let's fix this here real quick. We'll go ahead and move that. Uh, not that. Uh, hang on. Oh, baby, you should go up. Oh, also, I just want, want to ask you guys if you could kind of, like, so, tomorrow I have auditions for um my film festival and i am going to be auditioning and i'll be singing um i do have a singing talent i don't really care to share it because you know i just think it's kind of weird but you know anyway okay so yeah if you guys would just kind of help support me anyway so once you have figured out what you want to do with your character so i've decided to go along with this you want to write and you want to click this arrow and go back to your player ID and you want to right click it. And then you want to go up to import selection. And you want to save this to your desk desktop and just type type in whatever you really want. And save it. And then you can go ahead and exit out of the studio. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Blender. It's probably the best one. Okay, click off that. And we're going to delete that. You can move on your little number pad. You can't do the numbers at the top. You absolutely have to move with a number pad. Like four is to go this way. Uh, six is to go that way. Two is to go down. Zero is to view your camera, and eight is to go to the top. And five is to center it, which I think is the weirdest thing ever. Okay. So what you're going to do once you open up Blender is you want to go to File, Import, and Wavefront.obj. Then you want to click Desktop and click the OBJ. You do not want to click the MTL. So just go ahead and import that. And if you're lucky, your model should import right into the center. Your model will look gray, but don't worry, we can fix that. That's not a big deal. Now what you want to do is you want to open up this little arrow. Hang on, I gotta fix this real quick. Um, all right. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go over to this little arrow thing and spread it out. And you want to go to shading and you want to press texture solid. There you go. There's your character little friend here. Um, zero of your camera is the back of her. And that's just kind of your model. So now that you've gotten your texture solid, what you want to do is you want to go, you can like, okay, so first it'll look like this, it'll look, look really weird. You just want to lower that down and you want to press camera. Now, it'll give you the options like down here you can do like rotation, you know, and you can also move it. I want to move it, to be honest. So we'll just go this way. And this way. Press zero to view. Okay. What we want to do, we're going to have it facing right directly in front of her. Okay, so we're going to press this. And you're just going to kind of, kind of do whatever with your camera. I mean, like, <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, like, there's no wrong or right thing here. I mean, it, it, like I said, it's really just up to you. 
I'm pretty sure that God isn't going to have a problem with you just kind of, you know, doing whatever. And baby, you should go where I was Okay, so that seems pretty center right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this way, down, back, here. I'm going to go really far back. Inside the cold world, holding me closer to life. Okay. I think maybe we can go just a little bit like that. Or... Okay. So we're going to zoom back forward just a little bit. This way. That way. Um, so, like I said, this takes time. And, you know, just kind of do whatever. Now, now that you've finished with your camera, like it's exactly where you want it, you want to go ahead and go to lamp. And you want to go back to camera. And your lamp is basically your guideline to like your life oh wait what happened to it lamp ah where my lamp go oh there it is okay ah. okay lamp what we're gonna do what are we gonna do with you okay okay so we don't want that there now it's kind of easier if you set your lamp off to the side you know because that just kind of like works a lot better and I kind of want it right in front of the character right above the camera okay so just right here so once you have centered your camera you want to go ahead and come you want to put that in drag this part out you want to press this light, go down and press sun, and you just want to have this line center toward your character. Once you have it character centered to where you want it, go ahead and go back to this camera icon and press render, and that will give you your final character look and if it comes up black like if it comes press escape too if it if you are stuck there if it comes out like black like not like that but I mean, if it comes out black you want to get this center this point right onto your character so once you have it to where you want to you want to go ahead while you're at the render part you want to go down to shading and you want to go to transparent and then you want to re-render it that kind of changes the background making it to where it's just the model and not black background so once you have that you want to go ahead press image image save as image and you want to save it to your desktop and you want to name it I'm going to do rendered no three okay save as image you can exit out of that and that and you get these things right here too this is your texture pack and yeah and here is your model that is how you render and i'll see you guys next time see you later